Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will do the algorithm for the selection sort that we studied in the previous two videos. Okay, so we have seen the concept, the logic behind it and the example as well. Now we'll see how to uh, write its code. But before that, we must understand how to write it, it write its algorithm. Okay, so algorithm helps you to uh, break down the uh, concept that you are coding step by step and it helps you to write a better code because you have a clear understanding of the concept after writing the algorithm okay so now if we want to write the selection sort algorithm we will require the sort the list that has to be sorted and the length of the list so this value the n can be calculated using the uh, list as well using the length function of the list so in that case you need not pass it as an argument you can directly calculate it inside the function also but you will require this value n so uh, it is up to you how you code it but logically two things are needed for selection sort the list and its length that is the number of elements okay so now we maintain again two important variables i and j the variable i is denoting how many sorted elements do we have till now so uh, depending on the number of sorted elements we will start the next pass and in the next pass we will choose the minimum element accordingly so for example this is our list that has to be sorted then uh, if we have zero sorted element then in the first pass the minimum value that we will assume would be at index zero okay otherwise for example if we have one sorted element then in that pass the uh, the the minimum value that we will assume at the beginning of the second iteration would be the value present at location one that means index one because we have one sorted elements which will be present at index zero so this will become more clear as i go through the algorithm so in selection sort you will have to run a loop now this loop keeps a track of how many elements have been sorted till now we know that to sort n elements we require n minus one passes that is why we are using a less than symbol here because as long as i is less than n that means i will go from 0 which is the initial value to n minus 1. So as long as n minus 1 elements have not been sorted and the value of i is less than n we will continue with this functionality and we will repeat this functionality inside the loop. Now, what is the functionality that we are doing for each pass? Okay, so this loop is uh, uh, is maintaining the number of passes that you have for the unsorted list. You can either use a while loop, you can or use the for loop as well. It is up to you, but you have to iterate. You have to run the same functionality again and again. So, you'll have to use some loop that is up to you how you code it. Now, inside the pass what we do we do multiple iterations and in each iteration uh, especially in the first iteration uh, we choose the minimum element that we are assuming from the unsorted list this is the first element of the unsorted list okay so we will assign the variable minimum as i because if i is zero that means zero unsorted element so uh, uh, sorry uh, if i is zero that means zero sorted elements that means the first unsorted element will be present at index zero now if we have one sorted element then that sorted element will be present at index zero the value of i will be one because we have one sorted element and now the minimum will be assumed to be present at location one now this minimum will be compared with other elements in the pass so that is why we assign i to minimum and we keep a flag equal to zero so this flag variable helps us to know whether the value of minimum has been changed during the pass or not as soon as the minimum gets updated we will set this flag to one and when we come out of the loop we will see if there has been a change in minimum 
then we will swap the elements okay so let's see now uh, when then we assume a second value second variable which is j and this element uh, sorry this variable will keep on comparing the minimum with the elements that are present in the unsorted part of the list so if minimum is i as of now then j will begin from next value that means if minimum is present at index 1 then j will be 2 when j is uh, uh, the j uh, that is 2 is compared with the minimum we will increment j and then it will become 3 then the comparison will be between minimum and the value of j uh, that is index 3 so this is how we are using the two variables i is keeping track of which pass we are in and the number of sorted elements and j is keeping track of which element to compare with the current minimum okay now since you have to uh, uh, change keep on changing the value of j and keep traversing through the uh, all the elements of the unsorted part that is why you need another loop okay the first loop will uh, allow you to have multiple passes the second loop will allow you to have multiple iterations within each pass okay so uh, what will be the end value that j will take j will be initialized with i min i plus one and it will go till n minus one that means the length of the unsorted list it will go till the last element present in the unsorted list so as long as j is less than n we will compare the value that is present at index j in the list with the value that is present at index minimum in the list okay so minimum is also an index j is also an index i is also an index that is why you are comparing the elements present in the list at location j with the element present in the list at location minimum if the element present at location j is less than minimum then we will uh, set the flag as one because here we have an updation to the minimum element and the new minimum index will become j okay then uh, what will happen minimum has been updated to j then we again go back into this loop j will be incremented it will get a new value and that new value the element present at that new j index will be compared with the element which is present at the updated minimum now okay and when you come out of this loop that means when you have done all the iterations within a pass what you need to do you need to make the swapping so if the flag has been set to one then you need to swap the element that is present at index i now index i means the leftmost element of the unsorted list and you need to swap it with the element that is present at index minimum that means the minimum element now this is very important why do you need to put this condition why not swap it always after coming out of the loop why don't you always swap it because if the element is present at its correct position then we do not need any kind of swapping if the element is present already at the leftmost location then we do not need any kind of swapping and we will actually uh, even if you do that if, if the minimum has not been updated so basically when you do not need a swapping you will not need to swap elements when the minimum that was assumed at the beginning of the pass has not been changed okay so in that case the element is already at its leftmost position of the unsorted list which is its correct position and in the next pass you will uh, further in change the other elements you will not need to swap this particular element okay now since at the end of the pass the number of elements that have been sorted has increased by one so you increase the value of i okay so now you need to be very careful that every pass begins with the element 
uh, that are present in the unsorted part only it is not comparing the sorted elements and how this is uh, this is ensured this is ensured with this statement because every time the first element that we are comparing is i plus 1 the element still index i minus 1 are already sorted the element at index i has been assumed to be the minimum element and we are checking uh, with the elements present at index i plus 1 and going till the end of the list okay so uh, this was the algorithm for selection sort i'll just switch to the code uh, and show you how to implement this algorithm in python okay now let's see how to code this particular selection sort algorithm so in the selection sort code i have first created a function which is known as the selection sort and i have passed it a single argument which is the list that is to be sorted so now uh, as i have assumed a variable say flag which is initialized to zero and i have calculated the length of the list and i have stored that value in the variable n now i'm using a for loop here as i said you can use a while loop also i'm using a for loop and uh, i'm assuming that this for loop will uh, will take the values the variable iterator variable i will take the values in the range 0 to n minus 1 and for every pass in every pass the minimum index the element at uh, the minimum element will be present initially at index i and we will compare that element with the element present at index j now j takes the value from i plus 1 to the length of the list and inside each iteration you are doing the comparison so the element present at index j will be compared with the element present at index minimum okay and if the j index element is less we will uh, update the value of the index which is denoting the minimum element out of the unsorted elements we will assign minimum to uh, will assign j to the variable minimum we will update the value of the flag also flag was initially zero and now it has become one and then uh, we, we we set we again check out of coming out of the loop we check whether uh, if flag is equal to one then we will do the swapping so this particular assignment statement in python allows you to perform two operations in a single command it will swap the element present at index minimum with the element present at index i okay both the positions would be interchanged so uh, this flag variable should actually be present inside the loop because i want uh, every time for each pass this should be updated okay so let's run this code and also run the example that we considered in the theory so uh, this was the example and this uh, this is the list containing unsorted elements 8 7 13 1 minus 9 and 4 and we have called the selection sort on this particular num list this entire code would be called that means it would be run on this list and the result is then printed as you can see the elements have been sorted the smallest element which is minus 9 has come to the beginning and the largest element has come to the end with all the other elements sorted in between as well okay so this is how you implement selection sort in python and the, uh, i have also explained how you can write its algorithm in your theory exam if it is required so that's all from my side if this video helped you a little please let us know it really helps us boost our morale so thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam